Bradley Cooper, and tonight we're at Stubbs to see White Label Analog. How's it going, guys? Awesome. Great. So, why don't you all start off telling me your names real quick? I'm James. I play guitar. I sing I'm sometimes. I, I'm Chris, and I sing and play tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, uh, play bass and no sing. I'm Heath, I play drums and a little bit of singing. So, tell me, guys, how did White Label Analog get started? This fall. His fault. No, I'm just no that's his fault. Name. <laughs> oh, the name. Oh, the name is his Jump to the <laughs> man part. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> uh, edit, edit, cut, cut. We're not editing. No, but not. you can tell me just just because the name is very interesting. So, uh, so since it's your fault, let's go ahead and go through that first. <laughs> uh, well, the the name came from um, back in the day they used to do uh, vinyl pressings of uh, advanced copies and whatnot that didn't have you know any artwork and stuff like that that were done, and so they would send out vinyl just for DJs and specialty you know. Uh, whatever, radio and whatnot, for them to go ahead and, you know, just kind of sample the music out and see what it went like uh, before they would do anything. And so that was, they were termed as uh, white label pressings. Okay. And so that was back in the final days. And so we just kind of took that term and then rolled it together with analog, which is what we used to. That's very cool. And so how, so did you just have a name in the starter band or did the band start before? No, we went through like <laughs> 500 names. I think every yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. And then every every <laughs> pretty much. Yes. Yes. Every we should have copyrighted them all because, yeah, yeah. 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 They're, they're coming out. Uh, no, the band kind of started, uh, Heath and I talked about trying to do something after bands that we were no longer in. We were kind of on a break and uh, it, the timing wasn't right. And uh, so I put actually I put an ad on Craigslist and, wow. you know, I had like some characters answer and I tried to you know hang out with a couple of guys to see how the songwriting and chemistry would work out didn't work out at all uh, James <laughs> answered the ad we got together and um, started working on a tune and it just came together really cool it felt really natural it was catchy and I was like this is the kind of direction I want to go I wanted to do something kind of totally different than what I'd done in my past kind of challenge myself a little bit think outside the box a little bit James just kind of fit that really, really well. Um, he had just recently moved here um, from Virginia, Pennsylvania. Wow. So sorry, uh, but um, so it just kind of worked out, and it just so happened that I knew a great drummer and a great bass player, and so I kind of just after we had started writing songs together, we, we pulled in Heath first, and we were three piece. Then we grabbed Aaron, and then we've kind of gone through some iterations in terms of keyboard. So wonderful, great.
one do, or but all at once or all of, yeah, well, that yes, <laughs> all at once. Is <laughs> <still>. <laughs> <laughs> I love being in this band. That's what I want to know. Why do you guys love being in White Lake Lagoon? We don't. Okay, great. No, I'm just kidding. It'll be over. <laughs> Bye, thanks. <laughs> uh, I just love playing. I mean, I love playing with these guys. Um, we have a lot of fun when we're you know on stage, and it, that means a lot. It's like why I wanted to play music in the first place. It was to be on stage, have fun, enjoy the music I'm playing. Yeah, I mean, it's, for me, it's the music and the chemistry that the band has, uh, for sure. Um, you know, the, the, the hard thing is, like, when you are a band, you are also a business, mm -hmm. and so there are also, obviously, challenges associated with that. So that's really the, the hardest part, I think, about being in a band. Really, the playing and the kidding around and the traveling and the camaraderie, that's the best Part of it. It's too bad you can't just be an artist and, and <laughs> right. be a bandmate. Yeah, but you, you also, but, you know, right. so yeah, you, you have to be a, a, a business person too, which is can really be hard and, and taxing and, and a pain in the ass. So right. We really, really enjoy the, the the playing music. And that makes it worth it. If you enjoy yeah. who you're with and what you're doing, what you're playing, then the stuff that's really crappy, which is the business part of it, yeah. doesn't matter as much because you're having so much. Or you yeah, at least get past like the yes. stuff. Well, like when we went out on tour, it was always great just because it was like, okay, no more business. Everything's already been set up. All the prelim stuff is done. Right. Now we get to actually go have fun yes. and enjoy hanging out with each other and laughing and you know, just doing stupid shit. So yeah. Uh, for me, it's always been about the connection with the bands when we're playing. You know, especially a venue like Stubbs. You know, uh, working so hard on these songs and then. You know, bands have talked about what, what constitutes making it as a band. For me, it's always just seeing the audience kind of sing along to something it that is. you worked on. Yes. And just, it, it resonates somehow. It just, it just makes it. So that's always been the biggest thing. There is nothing like a, a lively crowd. I mean, you're a musician, you understand. I do. You guys, yeah. both, Very you, much both so. of you get it. I know yes. you all get it. So there's just that intrinsic something special about that. It's an intangible feeling, absolutely. And then plus it's really nice because I mean you don't have to sing and make them do it. You can just there you go. Take that. <laughs> that line again. You guys got it. There's one song. There's one song we have. I don't have to sing all. I'm like yes, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> and it's nice. It's like no, no. I really like that too. I I get what you're saying about that. To see somebody get into it and see somebody really appreciate your music and make their own personal experience out of it right. is something that I think all of us as musicians really want to want to do. And, and that's how we feel successful. Well, just the fact that somebody take, took the time, like was interested enough or was moved enough yes. by your music to actually, they gave a shit enough to yes. learn your song or learn the words to your yeah. song or learn yeah. the melody or whatever. And it, it is really flattering to see someone sing the words back to you. It's it is. quite something special. So. Well, thank you guys. I know, I know you got to get on stage soon. and. We're in this mighty hot chop. I'm, I'm I know. Oh, oh my god! I'm just getting for clumps. I'm getting for clumps. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down. You're splitting really media. Awesome. What's up? Ooh, I'm long. Now that we know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.